Why so serious? I'm just joking around. About negative exponents. Yes, I'm talking about x to the negative 1. Yes, what is that going to be? That's going to be 1 over x. Why? No, x. Yes, and here's why. Take a look at this, man. What's, um, wait for it, x to the 0? It's 1. That was from last time over x. Let's just write that and consider this. Why? Because this guy right there is 1 over x. Uh-huh. Because x to the 0 is 1. Uh-huh. And then this is x to the 1. Fun. Now we have that whole idea about the quotient of variables, the same variables. Yes, that's the difference. It's the denominator from the numerator. So then here, this is x to the 0 minus 1, because I have that minus 1 there. So it's 0 minus 1. But wait a minute. What is 0 minus 1? That's, um, um, wait for it. You're adding sign numbers that are opposite signs, so you subtract and associate the sign of the bigger well. Just get to it. What do we have? We have x, or 1 over x is the same as x to the minus 1. And that's how we get our negative property of exponents. So now we need to see some examples here. See? A separational flower. Yeah. So wait. If I just straight use that, that's 1 over 5 to the 4. Because you can think of it as kind of like he's having negative thoughts. And he's up there in that numerator. And he's having negative thoughts, so he needs to go down there in that denominator, you see? Okay. So if I have a negative exponent, it goes down in the denominator. But what about... Oh my goodness, can you see that? Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. What if my negative exponent is in the denominator? Well, you could see that. Well, let's just do it like this, okay? Negative thoughts, doesn't like it in the denominator. He moves up to the numerator, 6 to the 1. Or the same thing as 6. Now, that was kind of like moving backwards. But you could see this as, huh, here, stop, right there. Do it like that. But um, maybe you want to say this is 1 over 1 over 6 because that negative exponent drops that into its own numerator. Here I have a complex fraction. That's where the numerator has a numerator and the denominator has a numerator. I rewrote that one as 1 over 1. That's fine. Okay, fine. But divided by a fraction is the same as... Shaky. Multiplying by its reciprocal. Bam! And then that's how I can get 6 over 1, which is still 6. Where did we start? Here. How do you do this? If it has a negative in the exponent, then it goes to the numerator and you're done. Okay down here. What happens there? Well, let's look. Let's look. Mira. Mira. Okay. Um, the negative is in the exponent. So we're going to see this is like hand to the minus 3. So we're going to have 1 over hand to the 3. Now here we see only the sign there changes. And here's your minus 4. Yes. So now, what happens down here? You gotta do this, make it rain, make it rain. So then, that's um, 1 over, since that's an odd power, this product is gonna stay negative, and then that's minus 4 times minus 4 times minus 4, sure. 16? No, 64, like the Nintendo. And then go back on over here, Woo! cruising to the next spot. The block was dead, yo. So I continued to use the negative properties of exponents. So then this is 3 to the minus 2, so that's 1 over 3 squared. Only that sign changes. Because it's having negative thoughts, that one moves down to the denominator. And similarly, that minus stays out front. So this is 1 over 2 to the third. Woo! Great. 8. And that minus, since the minus 3 is only on the 2, it doesn't change anything out in front. I suppose I could have brought up another example about that, but wait, there's more. This is 1 over 9, fine. Minus 1 over 8, great. This isn't an exercise in adding fractions, so I'm just going to do it for you. A little zip, a little zap, a little zo. A what? This is, um, um, wait. 8 minus 9, which is a minus 1, divided by this one times that one, 72. 
Ooh, and we added those fractions quite quickly, I know. Go check out the videos about adding fractions. I think I have one. It's with pizza. Now, what do we do here? I have a fraction to that minus one. I could do this, I could make it rain, make it rain, and then put them, or just flip it. Yes, you gotta flip it before you add them. This is plus, ready, 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 whoosh, ah, reciprocate. Three halves, and then we have to add those guys, and that's um, zip, zap, zo. So that's a four plus a three is a seven divided by two. Yeah. Box and flower. I was going to do Box and Batman.